everybody on this video something very different I have never done before on the channel if you like it like the video um I'm doing my Premier Leagues 2016-17 Premier League predictions like the league who thinks like first second third you know 20th who will get relegated and who will fall from that so I'm going to start from bottom to go up to the top so in 20th I'll put Burnley because Burnley, I know, but last time, as soon as they came up, they went straight back down to the championship. Um, so Burnley, I think Burnley will come 20 because they're not really that great. They were just lucky to win the championship. It should have been Middlesbrough, really. Um, and they'll go straight back down where they came from. So sorry, Burnley fans, you're gonna, I'll put you in 20th. Up next, we have a 19th hole. Um, we're not like great really because they haven't um they get off in well they're selling their best striker i think it is i don't know what the name of him because i'm not i'm not really that big football fan because i don't know all the names only the top because that's my team and some of the big teams that's all i really know not the little teams like hull uh hull goes straight back down from where they came hull aren't that great really they're just like burnley they just um they always come up and down keep going like that they would just look because they they didn't automatically get in like middle from Burnley. They they won the playoffs and they were fourth. Third was Derby, I think. So they beat Ipswich in the playoffs. Uh, Wembley final one nil. Um, so that's what. So nineteenth. Sorry, Hull fans. You're gonna. I'll put you in nineteenth. In eighteenth, it's Sunderland because Sunderland last day of the season they just got in the skim of their teeth. Because Norwich, I think, no, new, it was between Newcastle and Sunderland um, to go down. And then Newcastle went down because they were the team, like, yeah, they got less points. So Sunderland just got through the skim of their teeth. But this time, I think they're going to go out because um, they're not that great, really. Um, They've got a few good players, but not that many, really. So I don't know if that team, but I know they're not that good. They always just get in. They're really lucky. Because they've done it two seasons in a row. Last year was 17th. Well, before 17th. Because they thought, like, uh, they've got, yeah, they got in. Skim the tea, 17th. So, so I've put, so, Sunderland, Hull and Burnley will be relegated. Um, so, that's, that's the relegation zone. So, uh, the relegation zone. Now, in 17th, I've got Middlesbrough. Um, because Middlesbrough... They were just unlucky to come second. They should have come top, really. Just Burnley just got lucky, really. And Middlesbrough, yeah, I think Middlesbrough comes above the relegation zone. I don't think they'll get relegated. They've been in it before the um, age got, like, 2000. Um, but, yeah, I don't think they're quite good. So I think they'll stay in there. So Middlesbrough fans, you just got through to skim your teeth 17th. In 60, I put West Brom because it's not really they. This just normal West Brom season again. I bet like like one year wins, a few draws, maybe a few losses. That's it really. Maybe maybe lose to the silly little teams they should beat, and then just beat some of the, maybe Arsenal or someone or Tottenham or Man City or Chelsea or something like that. They could they could be them. Um, normal West Brom season. I put them in 16th West Brom. So West Brom fans, you're not going down. In 15th, I've got Crystal Palace. So they've got in the transfer window, no, and no transfer. And they're not, I don't even think they have one transfer. No transfers. So I think they're, they're not going to come in the top top 10 of it. They, last time, I think they came 13th or 14th. So I think they're going to come 15th. Crystal Palace fans, you're in 15th. In 14th, I've got Watford. Oh, they're, some of their players, are, no, most of their players are really old. No transfers, nothing like that. Um, because they're not, they, they came in two seasons ago. Yeah, two seasons ago. Like, so last season was their first season. I think they came 12th. Uh, above the uh, Bournemouth, who came above them in the championship. Um, yeah, so 14th. So Watford fans, you're coming in with 14th. In 13th, I've got Bournemouth. Um, Bournemouth, quite good. Quite a good team. We're starting to get into better teams now. Pardon me. Um, yeah, Bournemouth are just uh, quite okay, I suppose. Because they've got, like, good players. They've got a good manager. 
and they got him from Europe, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so they've got, um, yeah, Bournemouth fans who've gone into 13th, um, not just the fans, obviously, but the football players as well. Bournemouth, you're in 13th. In 12th, I've got Everton. Everton aren't really that good. Um, uh, I don't think they'll get any, I think the highest they'll probably get is ninth or eighth probably because um they're not last seen first uh, the second half of the season terrible they just um they just blew it really they were okay in the first half in the first half of the season you think they were sixth or seventh so but this season not uh, the back end of the season uh, no good they were everton so everton you're going into 12th um just under the uh the um, top 10. Uh, in 11th, I've got Swansea. Because Swansea have got a few transfers, quite a good team, uh, quite a good, good manager. A Welsh, I don't know why they're in the English league, because all the other Welsh ones, apart from Cardiff, which are in the Championship, uh, I'll probably do a Championship preview as well, who I think predictions in that. Uh, so, yeah, Swansea's going to 11th. They're okay, I suppose. The last thing they got 10th, I think, or 9th, something like that. So, uh, Swansea, the only Welsh team in the Premier League, are going into 11th. Uh, so, in 10th, up at Stoke, one place down from last thing, because last thing they were 9th. Quite a good team, because they've got a good, um, a good, some good strikers and good mid midfielders. I think they got. Uh, I think they've got a manager from Europe, uh, so quite good. So I think Stoke will come tenth. So but in ninth next Southampton. Uh, I've put in ninth Southampton. Oh, Southampton are quite a good team. Uh, they're dropping a few places from last year. Six last season. But if they're lucky, I think they might maybe get sixth highest, maybe even fifth. Um, so I put Southampton in ninth. So. So that thing you're going into ninth. Um in eighth I put West Ham. West Ham quite good. They have Pyre. They have some good a uh, good some Pyre is a good midfielder. He's part of um was it France? He's he's scored a few goals in that. In the Euros, I think. Yeah, they've got a good goalkeeper, good defenders for strikers and that. So West Ham are going to eighth. In seventh I put Leicester, the reigning champs, because um Leicester, that, that was just a once-in-a-lifetime thing, winning it, winning the league. Then I don't think they'll win it again. So, I've put... So, yeah, so the reigning champs have got Vardy, they've got... Uh, I can't remember the other guy, but they've got quite... They've got Vardy, who, who's England international. Uh, he's got... Yeah, they've got Vardy, good strikers. Vardy and uh, some good strikers and midfielders. I think defenders, I'm not sure about goalkeeper guys, but yeah, they're quite a good team. So, Leicester, the reigning champs going into seventh. In sixth, I've got Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool, last season they had a terrible season last season. Ninth, they don't, that's not them. They normally come at least in the top four, maybe fifth or sixth. But I'll put them in sixth because I've got a few good players. They keep, try and keep storage and, uh, Oh, I'm not gonna say Gerald, but they haven't got him anymore. He went, didn't they? Uh, like Pele in that. I've got quite a few, quite a few. Um, uh, yeah, quite a few good players, so they can keep storage. They might be able to get a bit higher, maybe. No, but that's my prediction. I'll put Liverpool in six. In fifth, I put Chelsea. Well, Chelsea, no, they quite good. They've got a new European manager. Um, they've got a few. Um, <clears throat> they've got uh, what have they got? Who have they got? They've got quite a few good players. They've got like uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, what Chelsea players? Oh, they've got Sex Fabregas. Um, they've got Diego Costa, obviously. John Terry. He's staying for another season. Um, so Chelsea in fifth. In fourth, they're going to the Champions League bit now. I put Spurs, which is my team. The reason I put them in fourth is because I don't think. And last thing they came third, but I've dropped them in place because they're not going to get, I don't think get any higher. They're, I think they're going to come up below Arsenal again because they always do that. In 25 years, they haven't come above Arsenal. So, yeah, for my team Spurs, I put them in fourth. I think they'll get in the Champions League again. So, yeah, in third, I put Arsenal. <coughs> like, um, North London, some 
North London derby thing. They um they um the rivalry is for uh, Tottenham and Arsenal, but Arsenal put in third because Arsenal got quite a good few players. Welbeck, I don't think he's going to be as good as this season. Who else is there? Welbeck, got Giroud. Um, I think they might want Griezmann. I think no, I think that was Manu or someone like that. So um, uh, yeah. So I think uh, Arsenal are going to come third. We've got um. Yeah, so in second, I think Man City will come second because Man City, they've got quite a few different players. I think they've got a new manager. They've got... They, they lost to Arsenal the other day in a friendly, but they've got quite a few good players. I think they'll come second because they've got good strikers, uh, good midfielders, defenders, goalkeepers. Yeah, got Joe Hart. Oh. He, he, uh, don't ask me about the Euros. No way, don't. He's just terrible in the Euros. He was. But hopefully he can do better for Man City. Um, uh, second up, but Man City in second. So top, and then one team left, which is Man United. The reason I put them, because they've got a lot, they've got two more really good transfers. They've got a striker, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's really good. He used to play for PSG, the best player in PSG, obviously. He's really good. He's like, I think he's the second best Swedish athlete ever. Uh, yeah, Zlatan, and then they've got Paul Pogba in the midfielder. They've got him now uh, from Juventus, um, which is an Italian team. Uh, yeah, so I've got Man United top. And they'll be the champions again because they've got off in there a good, good, um, good squad. So yeah, that was my. If you enjoy, that was my predictions for um, Premier League sixteen seventeen. If you want to see the championship, comment, like this video, or comment if you want to, um, whatever. Um, you can do whatever. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Smash that like button if you love if you like my predictions. If you don't, well, you can tell me in the comments who what you think your prediction is. So and so, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.